Mr. Spinoza, 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 Mr. Spinoza. Hey everyone, welcome back to Teacher Mondays. My voice is a little different. I am getting sick, but I wanted to show you this cool effect, the green screen portal. Let's get to it. All you need for this green screen portal effect is the video of you jumping in and jumping out along with footage that will go in the background. What I ended up using was footage of my classroom and also of the parking lot. Now I did say that reversed because when I put this green screen up, you will see the parking lot. And then when I jump out of it, you'll see the classroom. Let's send this all over to iMovie and let's get to it. Here we see all our clips in iMovie. I've already gone ahead and <clears throat> uh, part, edited the first part. I'm gonna go ahead and bring in the other clips. Here is the clip of me putting the green screen up. I'm gonna go ahead and split the clip where I want it to start. Which is right there. I know I'm coming in, I'm looking around, putting up the green screen. And right about there, I'm gonna go ahead and cut it out because I don't want this last part to be there. I already have that. <clears throat> then I'm gonna go ahead and bring in the other clip of me jumping out into the parking lot. Let's go ahead and split that right about there. <clears throat> Delete that. Run away. And there I have it. I've already cut and done everything I wanted with the video. Now I'm going to go ahead and bring in the footage that will go and replace that green screen. So the first one will be of me in the classroom, which I have this clip right here of the parking lot. I'm going to go ahead and drag that. I'm going to drag it in front. Now, a good rule of thumb to remember is whatever you want in the green part of the effect it needs to be at the bottom. I'm going to go ahead and click this clip and bring it over. And then I'm going to go ahead and see where I have this line right here. I'm going to click that on a Mac. It's command B to cut that or split it. I should say delete that. And there we have it now. I'm going to go ahead and highlight that top clip, head over to these two boxes up on the top, and then I'm going to go to the drop down menu, and then I'm going to click green, blue screen. Now you can do this with either green or blue, uh, just whatever you have with you. And then I can see I already have it running. And then I jumped out. I'm going to go ahead and do that with the other clip. <clears throat> Same thing, go ahead to the top, green, blue screen, and there I have it. Now, if I want to go ahead and make it look more like a classroom, I'm going to go click the bottom one, and then go to this crop tool, then I'm going to select crop to fill. Now you can see that all four corners are highlighted. I'm gonna make this a little smaller and bring it up to the classroom and we could see that you could see a little bit of the classroom. Obviously, if you want more of the classroom to look, you would need a, a little bit bigger of a green screen. And that's pretty much it. Let's go ahead and run the whole thing. Mr. Spinoza, Mr. Spinoza, Mr. Spinoza, Mr. Spinoza, Mr. Spinoza. Mr. Spinoza, Mr. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you can send a, any more questions that you have. If you want, you know, share what you're doing. It'd be fun to watch you do it. Uh, once again, thank you for tuning in. I will catch you next week.